the game. You know, if my shots will come, I know that. Uh, just trying to play basketball the right way. The, uh, I guess in that that last game, what you know, what kind of went, what what went awry for you in the SMU game? Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, their defense was pretty good. I, I just missed some shots, I guess. Um, but I mean, credit to them. They played great defense. Was it? I guess John kind of like implied that maybe you were being a little bit overused or you were tired or maybe anything like that after the game or is that no how it, um, I mean I, we're tired every game we just got to push through that like I said they play great defense um, so it was something that we wanted to move past uh, today and I think we did that we'll change the starting lineup today can you talk about uh, Duncan Robinson and look like he had some assists there as well as the scoring yeah, Duncan, uh, he played a great game today. He really showed that he could pass the basketball. Uh, I think he had four assists, zero turnovers. Uh, so that's really good for him to be able to do that, knowing the guys are going to close out hard on him like that. How nice was it to see kind of the offensive balance with you know, six people scoring in double digits? Yeah, that's something that we really stressed um, in film after the SMU game. You know, we missed a lot of easy points at the rim uh, with the bigs and with cutters late and things like that. Um, so I think we really, we really uh, did that today in the game. With uh, Spike done now. Do you feel more on your shoulders going ahead here as far as uh, you know leadership for the team? I mean, Spike's done playing on the court, but I mean, his voice will, will always be heard. You know, in the locker room, in games like today. You know, he's like an assistant coach out there, so he really sees the game um, like an assistant coach. So he's out there giving us advice and telling us things that he sees and stuff like that. So I mean, on the court, I, I would say so, but I guess he, he'll always be there for that voice for us. Was it a little tough seeing him in street clothes today? Yeah, it was. You know, I mean, Spike has worked so hard to get back um, from this off season, um, but we, we just got to fight together, uh, get as many wins as possible for him. Because you guys have struggled in those three marquee games, are, is this month kind of? Are there certain things that you guys need to address heading into the Big Ten season that, that you feel are important? What are those issues to close that gap? Yeah, definitely defense, uh, rebounding. Those are the two main things I would say. Um, but I think today we did a great job of that. We limited their offensive rebounds, um, and I think we played great defense at times today. You're able to do that even though the competition in the next couple of games may not be up to that level. You're able to work on those things. Yeah, definitely. We have to uh, we have to keep our focus up because we know the comp the uh, sorry the, the level of competitiveness will rise as soon as the Big Ten season starts. You guys, you've obviously spoken in the past about how close you and Spike are. Um, how did you personally take that that news? I guess when he initially did he tell you one on one that this was happening? Yeah, he um he told me a couple weeks ago that he wasn't really feeling like himself, mm -hmm. um, and that it was something that he was going to talk to Coach B about. Um, and it continued. He didn't really feel a lot better. So, I mean, he went to Coach B and, and talked to him about it. And obviously, Coach B was hurt. We were all hurt. Um, you know, but he's been in great spirits about it. So, so that's been good for us. Has John said anything specifically to you about being you know, the only captain who's actually still on the, the floor and what that means? Have you had a conversation? With him? Uh, yeah, he pulled me over after practice uh, the other day and kind of just mentioned it to me a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's crazy that, that everyone from the class is gone now. Uh, spikes out for injury. It's just, it's just time flies. What was the message? I mean, he just he just mentioned it to me. It wasn't really okay. too much of a message. Okay. Yeah. Well, and so what does that what does that mean to you that you are the only guy who's out there? I mean, it doesn't really change too much. Like I said, Spike's voice will always be heard, um, so Spike will be with us. But I mean, it's just knowing that I'm the only the only senior out there. It's just a little different. Feel. You got within three points, I think, of a thousand for your career, and then they pulled you out of the oh, game. Oh, did I? Oh, so you didn't even know. I was gonna say, I was gonna ask if you wanted to get back in to get that. Or I mean, there's more games to play. We'll be here again on Tuesday, so hopefully, I can get it there. What's the biggest thing this team needs to really take a step up on over these next three games before the the Big Ten season starts? Uh, I would say defense and rebounding, definitely. Uh, and I think we took a step forward today in those two areas, uh, but we got to keep growing in those areas as the comp the competition. Um, Get the kids higher.